Hey, we're shaking YouTube. So very excited because today I got a $60 action camera you can get on Amazon. It is waterproof, Wi-Fi, just looks super, super awesome. And yeah, in total HD. So let's adjust the camera and check it out. Okay, guys, super excited. I'm not going to show you the other side of the box because it's got my address on it. But, you know, for caution, probably shouldn't have stabbed it. But I'm pretty sure it's packaged pretty well. So I like to live dangerously, but you want to be more careful than me when you guys open yours. Oh yeah, this is $60, so it's not gonna break the bank by any means. And yeah, here's this box. And then we have another box. So a box inside of a box. Okay, sorry about that guys. My dog was banging at the door to come in. There he is. But yeah, anyways, okay, so back, back at the review. But yeah, anyways, here is the Hanson action camera. So cool box. It, is Wi-Fi 1080p. I don't know if that 30 means 30 frames per second or if it shoots in 60. Oh, I'm not sure. Uh, super waterproof. Uh, P2P Wi-Fi. Not sure what that means. Um, 170 angle, so wide angle, same as like a GoPro, and uh, you know whatnot. Loop recording. So 1080 HD. H.264 recording compression. Not sure what that means. Full, you know, nice glass lens, time lap, you can do time lapse, so yeah, super cool. So here it looks like uh, for their Twitter and the QR code for their Facebook, if you want to check that out, but yeah, I don't know, enough with the box, let's open up the box. So, very nice how that is all packaged in there, and they're real good, okay. So we got two boxes, so so far we have four boxes, so. Not skipping out on boxes here. Uh, here, looks like, man, it's hard to get out. Do I gotta open this part of the box too? It's like, what do I have to do? Is there more boxes? More boxes! Look at this, another, I thought that was like a, book, a booklet, but I was way wrong. Okay, it looks like these are the accessories. Okay, so it says right there, accessories, camera itself, more accessories. I'm guessing this is the housing, so <laughs> look. The camera's on in there. Comes fully charged. <laughs> but yeah, look at that. Okay, so open it up. Oh, and it comes in the waterproof housing already. So there must be a lot of accessories here. And yeah. And it got turned on. Let's see, you hold down this button. It's the power button. Yeah, I figured it out. Pretty good right there. But okay, yeah. Housing all looks really, really nice. Um, Let's to take it out. It looks like it's got the little push that forward and then this flips up or this flips up. Yeah, push that and flip that up. It opens it right there. Okay, and there's like you know a cover over the lens, so we'll take that off. Very satisfying. And then cover for back there. Okay, so here's the camera itself. Looks very very nice. Uh, I'll, I'll have to get a memory card. I have a memory card. I have to put a memory card in there. Make sure you put in a good memory card. A lot of people get cameras and then they put in really crappy cards and uh, they have a lot of issues and uh, most of the time it's just, a, just the, oh, the power's on real quick. You don't even, I thought you were just had to like hold it down. I think you hold down to like turn it off. You click it. Okay, so it scrolls through the menus when it's on, when you press it, when you hold it down. It uh, turns it off. Turn it on, you just click it. Yeah, the screen display is actually quite nice. Um, obviously, it's nowhere near what it's going to be like when you, uh, you know, when you're actually, you know, viewing it. This is like, what, probably 480 or whatever, but, you know, it'll be 1080 when you see it later. But, um, okay, let's, let's go through what else comes in the box, and then we'll go through the menu and everything on here. Let's turn it off for now. Okay, so well that's off. Okay, so now let's open up this big accessory box first. Oh man, look at this. Okay, so what do we have here? here I'm gonna turn the camera down a little. Okay, so it's like here's like a bicycle mount. What we got here. A lot of these are like 
just I know it's kind of like Legos like you just find different pieces and find a way to mount it to whatever you're trying to do like with all these pieces they give you you could literally mount it to freaking anything here let's open the other accessory thing one too and just do it all together so just a ridiculous amount of stuff on oh, here's the here is the instructions so you know very important part of anything okay so here's a description of what each piece is okay out of everything that it comes with so that's very cool and you know instructions how to use the thing oh for the app for the Wi-Fi camera the QR code so that's very convenient and then different languages all that but okay so so here we got some velcro to mount it to whatever you know this uh, is a backing that has little slits in it open up you stupid thing there we go okay so like the back call them focus camera you see it's not like as this one's totally airtight so this one would be the waterproof and then this would be like if you want to get a little sound out of it too and one of the little rubber pieces just fell out but I see where it is so it's put, it looks like it just pushes right back in but yeah um, so this is the one you want to use when you do want sound when you want it to be waterproof you want to use this housing so yeah and just more you know more clips we got um, some wire clips and then these are like 3m sticky strips we got a lens cleaning cloth the charge cable and also to connect it to your computer or TV or whatever you you know um, is USB to micro USB so super convenient um, what everything should be this uh, is would be like if you're gonna have it as like a dash cam this is the setup I would use you need to rig this up onto you know one of your other mounts and just twist that on uh, I'll I'll set it up in my car and take a picture of it or you know I'll show you in a little bit but let me get there here's these things here um, you could put in this clip or no no this is for the other thing there's a clip for this one too where is it right you know okay so like this is a way you could mount it this is probably the most convenient way this is the way you see like um, when people have them on their helmets and stuff usually they stick this part to the helmet and then this is on mounted onto the bottom of the housing or whatever and then you just clip it on you know it just clips right on and then that's how you'll have it mounted up on there you see and then you put that on the top of your helmet or whatever or you could even do this as like for your your dash cam you know just stick that you know and have it in here but um, yeah super convenient because you can literally stick these things to anything and they give you extra ones and they're super cheap ever to get more and they get they give you two so you can put it like you know one on a helmet one on your skateboard or whatever so yeah very impressed with how many accessories it comes with the zip ties it is sometimes zip ties is the easiest solution um, I also I have another action camera so I have like all the other attachments like and it looks like this it looks like this totally would fit on any GoPro accessory like they have the exact same um, set up for how, how all the accessories are so you could probably use any GoPro accessory besides the housing itself so let's uh, now take a look at the camera and go through some of the settings and stuff so let me adjust the camera a little different so it's a little easier for me to see what I'm doing okay guys I didn't even notice though right now too it came with an extra battery here's what the battery is 3.7 volt lithium-ion battery uh, what does it say 1050 1, milliamps an hour 3.885 watts per hour whatever the heck that means but yeah that's cool to give you an extra one because these things never last the batteries never last long these so I got a good memory card make sure you always put a good memory card in these things um, you know the card to be able to keep up with how fast the data is coming in and everything so um, I already got that screen dirty and wipe that off okay but let's get like uh, let's turn it on Hamson. Okay. So, yeah, look, screen, and there's all that crap on the table. But, you know, screen's always like 480, you know, never, never as good as the picture's actually going to be. So, um, looks like to, the, here's the Wi Fi, connect to your Wi Fi with the app to view it on your phone and stuff. Um, you probably toggle the menu with that. I'm assuming this one, yeah, this one does the modes. We already kind of found that out. So, okay, so I hit it once. See now it's in picture in 12 megapixels is its normal picture mode 
So I'm gonna take a couple pictures, I'll insert them now. Okay, so yeah, it takes great pictures. So now besides that, let's see what else we got. Uh, that must be where it's like your gallery, but we don't have any pictures taken yet. Okay, so here we can toggle up and down. So let's first, let's go to that. I think the top, the okay, that's how you select stuff. So resolution, we got full HD is the top one, which I don't see any reason why we'd want to change that. But you could go from 720, you know, it'll be less data going in or VGA. But yeah, we're gonna keep it on 1080. Okay, what else? TV out, that's like if you had it hooked up to your TV, how to do that, uh, OSD mode. What is that, I don't even know what that is. But, uh, I don't know, whatever. We're just gonna leave it. Time lapse, that's pretty cool, you can do time lapse. And uh, so if you wanted to do it in one second, two seconds, or five seconds, um, yeah, pretty cool. My other action camera does not have time lapse. Capture mode, let's see what this is. Oh, single capture or timer capture. Um, keep it on single. Cycle record um, for like loop recording and stuff. HDR. Uh, high definition. I don't. What is HDR? High definition recording, right? Yeah. I don't know. Let's turn it on. Uh, motion detecting. That'd be like if you had it as your dash cam or a security camera. That's very cool. Audio. On. Yeah, of course. Date stamping, you can turn that on. We're going to leave that off. Uh, image size, so you could you know change it to whatever. The default is 12 megapixels, 10, 8, 5, 3, you know, yeah, way down. We're going to leave it at 12. Okay, quality, fine, normal, economy. Um, I don't know what the best would be. We're going to leave it on normal. Sharpness, normal white balance auto but you could change all that so you're very customizable for a little you know action camera quite a bit I mean you can adjust a lot of stuff anti shaking so that's like gyro stabilization so that is awesome because my last action camera did not have that and one thing if you're ever using these like on a skateboard or on a head cam where you're doing something you're moving around like that is gonna help a lot so I'm gonna turn that on right off the bat uh, language, you know, English for me, date and time, if you have your date stamp on, uh, auto, power off, it's pretty cool, you can turn that on, we'll leave it on three minutes, beep sound, you can change this, oh, turn the sound off, I'm gonna leave it on, TV mode, um, and I'm in the USA, so I want NTSD, but if you live in the UK or something, you might want PAL, not quite sure, you can have a screensaver after however long you want, frequency rotate so that's like if you had it mounted like on something upside down and you were recording you'd have it on rotate so it would when you had the video it would actually be flipped to normal so you could see it it just like if you had to have it mounted upside down pretty cool though like on the bottom of your skateboard or something um wi-fi okay we're just gonna leave that wi-fi password we're just gonna leave that um but yeah one two three four five seven eight so. format default settings um, I don't know if I accidentally changed it. I'm actually going to put them back to default and then maybe I'll play with them after. So I'll originally show you everything with the default settings. Um, the version. So they might have an update. I'm not sure. I'm just going to do this review. Stock coming out of the box like you would get it. So yeah. So now I guess let's uh, just put it to the test. I'll throw it in my pool or I'll jump in my pool with it, the waterproof headset on. I'll do some yo-yo tricks with the first person headset. I'll do some knife tricks. I'll do... I mean, I'll bust down my skateboard. Uh, yeah, we'll do. I mean, I'll go. I'll take it to the gym. I'll let. Uh, I work at an MMA gym, so we can have some fun there. I'll hold some pads with it. So, yeah. So I hope you guys like the rest of the video. And yeah. Okay, so the app you're gonna need to control the Wi-Fi is called Final Cam. That's what the icon looks like. So we're gonna open up Final Cam in here. And. Mine is automatically connecting because I've already paired it. First time you pair it, all you gotta do is go up, click that button right there, and then click the up button right there. It only takes a minute. As long as you have a you know good connection and everything. My connection just failed, but 
Sometimes that'll happen. You just click on it again. So there we go. Oh, I didn't have that clicked. Okay, so you want that screen when you're connecting it on the camera. That means it's pairing. Come on. Sometimes you gotta click it a couple times. There we go. See, that works. So, third time's a charm. Sometimes that happens. But now everything I'm moving the camera can be totally controlled from my phone. I can bring up uh, icons. I can set the recording. I can do pretty much anything I can do on the camera now. You can be controlled with by your phone. So, very cool extra feature. It does have a little bit of flaws to it. It, they, it Like I said there, sometimes you got to click it like three times. But then once you're in, it works really, really good. So... Quite convenient and a cool little, cool little feature. Okay, here's the mount in my car. So there's, with all these mounts, there's hundreds of ways you can set this up. This is how I set it up in case I wanna do a little, you know, video with it in my car. It just clips on. You could also spin it the other way and tighten it down if you want it to face forward. Um, you know, as like a, a safety thing if you get in an accident or something. So, yeah, very cool. Thank you so much for this action camera ham swan. This thing, I was just blown away. Um, one thing I thought was way better than my other action camera I previously did is the microphone on here. The sound quality is actually really good. My previously, I usually use my Ecan, and most of the things I just put music over anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But when I was just going through footage, it, the sound quality on this, it's you know almost as good as my regular camera. So that's you know a lot to be said. And this is only $60, so it's the last minute Father's Day, you know, gift you could get, or if you want to get one for yourself, it's not going to break your bank, you know, 60 bucks. They, they got GoPros at like $350 now, so, I mean, that's a pretty big difference. So, if you guys like it, go check out all the links in the description if you guys want to pick one up. And, yeah, otherwise, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate everything. And, yeah, ham swan, baby.